Greetings viewers, I am Eric the Car Guy and first I want to thank you for tuning in today. Second, I want to tell you that this is the ETCG1 channel and I start things off on ETCG1 with, hey, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Please enjoy this digital confection that I found for you. Happy birthday. Today I want to talk about a topic that has come up a lot on my social media and in comments to my recent videos, in particular about the 2008 Acura TL that's on my lift behind me. Those of you not in the know, uh, recently I broke the timing belt on the J32 engine that is in that car and I've replaced it and we talked about, well, all kinds of stuff. I'll link those videos down in the description so you can follow along. But here I'd like to talk about an interference engine and what an interference engine is, is I think where we should start. So those of you not familiar with what an interference engine is, with most internal combustion engines you have valves that open and close and you have pistons that move up and down. So you've got these two components that need to, well, work in concert with each other. So as the valve opens up you don't want the piston too close to it or else it could come in contact with it, interfering with it. And I hope that gives you some inclination of what the interference engine is. So if there is a timing belt or a timing chain failure and that piston and then those valves are allowed to move pretty much independently, there's a possibility that that piston could come up, make contact with those valves and cause damage to those valves or possibly the piston or possibly other stuff in general. And basically what you end up with is something like this. And these are bent valves out of an engine where the piston made contact with them. So this, this could be the end result of an interference engine. So I hope that gives you a clearer idea of what an interference engine is. So an engine where it's possible for the piston to come up, make contact with the valves. That is the main takeaway about what this is. Now, the J series that's behind me, the J32, that is an interference engine. So it is possible for the piston to come up and hit the valves and bend them. But guess what? It didn't happen on this engine. I was able to put a new timing belt water pump on it and drive away. And that's pretty much what I want. The other thing that I want you to take away from this video is just because it's an interference engine, that does not mean it's game over. It's possible that it's game over. I'm not going to say, you know, 100%. Yeah, you're going to get away with not having bent valves at all. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that you could possibly get lucky. So take the chance, roll the dice, throw that timing belt and water pump on that engine and see if it works. If it does, well, give yourself a pat on the back, call yourself lucky, buy a lottery ticket. If it doesn't, well, you've got some more work to do. But it's not impossible. Like I said, there could be piston damage, but if it's just bent valves like these, it's, it's labor intensive, yes, but these valves are often not that expensive and it can often be repaired. So it really just depends on your situation. And here's the other thing. A lot of people say, well, if you're driving down the highway, then it's definitely done. If you're just sitting at idle and the timing belt breaks, well, then you're fine. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Because again, I was driving down the highway with this TL when the timing belt broke and it ended, up being, it ended up being fine. So I guess I'm saying back off from the absolutes as far as, you know, if a timing belt or timing chain breaks on an interference engine, it's game over. I don't think it is. And I hope you understand more about what an interference engine is and what can happen if the pistons come in contact with the valves. That was my entire reasoning for making this video. And I hope you found it useful and entertaining. I'll put links in the description to additional videos, other stuff if you wanna learn more about what's going on with the TL. Uh, also a link to ericthecarguy.com, which is where I ask you to go if you have automotive questions. Other than that, know that I post ETCG1 videos on Mondays, so be sure to come back and see me then. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I will see you next time.